video we are going to look at how to apply manual super elevation to a civil 3d alignment with correct super elevation values shown in the super elevation band currently in my drawing i have an alignment and i have the profile view of that drawing currently i don't have applied any super elevation now i am going to import super elevation into this alignment that is a manually created super elevation file so i select the alignment and go to super elevation drop down here and go to view tabulator editor then from this point i can import super elevation data from file so i am moving on to my super elevation file so this is my file it is a csv file so if i open that you can see this file we have 12 regions so these are the super elevation values in these two columns which is left outside lane and route right outside lanes other lanes are zero and this is our super elevation file i will close it so i won't want to save it and i'll click open here and click ok so we can uh, get that super elevation and i close it here so after doing some region i can see the super elevation values here so the blue color shows the left super elevation and uh, magenta color shows the right super elevation so if you see here i have the super elevation values at normal crown and it is a reverse crown point and this is a full super point you can see all the super elevation values are correct but if you come to this location you can see both super elevation values are shown as four percent but if you uh, watch the graph or scam uh, super elevation view here you can see this super elevation is lower than the super elevation here so this super elevation value should be a lower one so here also you have the plus 4 super elevation and here minus 2.5 that is okay but here also this is wrong so here what we are going to do is we are going to see how to uh, make it correct by changing the super elevation file so now I am moving on to my super elevation CSV file now I have opened my super elevation file and my uh, alignment which is related to super elevation in a side by side view so to get the correct super elevation values uh, to the uh, super elevation band what should you do what you should do is you have to set this super elevation region this super elevation region which is the first column according to the uh, horizontal curves so if you see these curves this is curve number one this is curve number two and this is curve number three so what you have to do is you have to get the correct super elevation region otherwise the correct super correct curve number to this region currently all the curves numbers are shown as one or all the regions are shown as one so what you have to do is you have to select the correct curve number here so up to 145.68 it is curve one so if you have the station value here so up to 145.68 is curve one so this is only up to here then after that you have uh, curve 2 203.69 means curve 2 so curve 2 will be ended at 253 so up to 253 you have to set curve number 2 then after that you have curve number 3 uh, up to the end so then you have to set curve number 3 for other regions now I will save this now I will import that super elevation file again so to do that I select the alignment and go to view tabular editor so now first I have to delete this current super elevation data so to do that 
I click this uh, curve which is having the super elevation data and click this delete super elevation data button or clear all super elevation data. So now it is cleared. Then I will import super elevation again. Now I have imported super elevation. Here I do some small region. Now you can see as earlier you have the views here which was wrong. The thing here was this super elevation value. You can see this super elevation is minus 2.10 and plus 2.5. Not like we have correct super elevation values in these locations. So that that is this is the way how you should uh, get the super elevation values onto the super elevation uh, 